Welcome to Salex Enterprises, James Harrison here. I just wanted to uh, quickly talk about this Israel Falau, um, the Australian professional rugby player, his campaign with his uh, religion, etc. Uh, I don't want to talk about the controversy or the actual matter at hand, but what I wanted to talk about was the actually actual sales side of things. Um, you know, 53 minutes ago, an hour ago, seven minutes ago, I'm looking here right now on the internet and you can see Wide World of Sports, Daily Telegraph, uh, Sydney Morning Herald, news.com.au, ABC, um, every, every news group, uh, Foxtel, you know, um, everyone on Twitter. The, the, the news and media coverage um, globally, you know, especially Australia obviously, but um, it's huge. Like you've got the likes of Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 10, everyone reporting on this every single hour, giving everyone an update. Um, gi giving it fuel to the fire to, to in essentially increase the sales of the funding campaign uh, for his legal trials etc. So um, although you know it's probably most likely not the intention of the news group um, you know such as Channel 7 or ABC or anyone like that but it, it's, it may not be the intention to get him funding, but that's exactly what it's doing. It's like uh, free, free media from the biggest, uh, most the giant Australian uh, media groups are essentially advertising him free of charge um, to two, three million more Australians, and um, that that's what's essentially driving up his. Um, two, like 20 minutes ago, it was reported that he's got 1.5 million dollars in uh, funding now, and uh, that's what's that's what's driving the funding. Is the, is the media. So although it's like I said it's probably an indirect um, result, um, the, the media are doing a good job in making sales for Israel. So you know uh, keep keep watch on the on the issue but as I said uh, I'm not making comment on what he's doing, why he's doing it. This is just a sales post on the <laughs> on the basis of advertising free media. Thanks for listening.